was there joins us live now from our newsroom. And Sean, the two candidates differ on this issue. It, Karen, to be clear, both are anti-abortion rights. But Joe Day, a first-time candidate and businessman, supports some exceptions. Ron Hanks, a state representative and military veteran, wants no exceptions. With the Supreme Court poised to overturn Roe v. Wade this month, the issue could play an outsized role in both the primary and general election. When does life begin? It is a question that can make or break a Republican campaign in Colorado, and one that Republican Senate candidates Ron Hanks and Joe O'Day expected at the Western Conservative Summit, an event hosted by Colorado Christian University. Life begins at conception. I believe that decision is between a person and their God. O'Day, who supports exceptions to abortion for rape, incest, and a mother's life, said while his position may not be popular with the Christian conservative crowd, it was consistent. I'm going to shoot straight with you. Ron Hanks has his finger in the wind. When he suggested his opponent's position was one of political expedience. Hanks insisted there was no middle ground on abortion. When we fight for life, we don't fight for life some of the time. We fight for all of it because everyone deserves a birthday. This year, as a state senator, Hank sponsored a bill to abolish abortion with no exceptions. It's murder, and that is something we have to decide where we are on that position. I'm firm on that. But in 2010, as a California congressional candidate, Hank's position appears different. He says in a survey that he is pro-life, but will hold open a measured and narrow window for medical experts. A Republican majority in the Senate is vital to the future of this country. We don't need a flip-flopping politician on stage debating Bennett. Hanks was voted onto the ballot overwhelmingly by Republicans at the state assembly, and as such, he says he is the true conservative. O'Day petitioned onto the ballot and says he has a broad coalition backing his candidacy, including unaffiliated voters. Whoever emerges from the primary will need those unaffiliated voters to win in November. They now represent 45 percent of the electorate and political specialist Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you. Hey,